It's the tour going. Um, tour's going real well. So it's short and sweet. It's ten cities, it's so right? Cool, yeah, that's man. it. We're just doing it's ten so cities, cool. and um, just so it's a lot of fun. We'll like, all the bands are real cool. Like, you know. We will pack it. We'll do like. Um, and all the bands are real cool, Four, real good, which is, Soma, you know, like breath ourselves. of fresh air. Yeah, Sometimes you tour with bands that you don't like or, yeah, you know, fine, whether it's musically or personality-wise, but everyone's cool. And uh, all like the shows have been a lot of fun. Like, you know, I wish like it was longer. Few times we've done that. That's good. Yeah. Well, you guys have a year enough for the Christmas show. It's like yeah. Yeah. Christmas 11? Is it yeah, 11? Yeah. Okay. So we're going to go home after this. We're actually going to write. Uh, that's a, that's a little more. We've been writing for, for quite a while before this tour, and then we're gonna write, and then rehearse for that. And so that'll that'll take up December. Well, the last so album was the last album was 09, right? Was it released in 09? Um, and then yeah. you guys just had the DVD release <laughs> yeah, come out. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> and then we just had a DVD come out. Yeah. yeah so okay. we're hoping hoping to hit the studio by like February, okay. March. <laughs> And then I uh, get the next one out by. Mm -hmm. We need to start planning. Was, you know, sometime in 2011. Yeah. I'm sorry, yeah. we've been. Like, so you guys do a lot of writing on the road. Years. Some bands can like do it on the road. Yes, yes and no. I mean, I, I, I don't personally, really you know, but uh, Rob and Mark do. So why would we ever go? Ahead um, at least have been for the it, last couple of albums. Uh, yeah. Do they I'll do like little awesome. riffs here or there that I'll think of on stage. We just about it. There's too many, too many other things going on. Well, yeah, that's the thing. It's hard for me to concentrate on just one thing when there's you know friends walking around everywhere and everyone. Good, thing like, up here the the you can one see we got something going on in the back like, lounge here and the front lounge, so show, like, who knows what's going on yeah, the next stage. Like, there's not really a lot of privacy, like, so oh, it works. Yeah, yeah well, I mean, sometimes it's easier to just take that break and like put all the focus in. That's what I think. I like. I'd rather be at home and just looking at it. Like, can't watch those guys. I was just like, I'm gonna start drinking now. Live show with you guys. Do you guys have any cool pre-show rituals? Anything like that? Not much. You know, Rob will, Rob will warm up for Bunda around his guitar. I know they draw on something. I'll, I'll drink beers with Amel. We played Nashville. Um, and, uh, you know, nothing, nothing to besides stretching and trying to uh, literally warm up. Uh, yeah. I'll a day, hear like, you. A day like today. Yeah, yeah I know. Uh, nothing, nothing too exciting besides that. Mark will do some, uh, some vocal, you know. More muscle, that's about it. Like Nothing too interesting. <laughs> <laughs> so, which city has the craziest fans? Um, that's hard to say. Werewolf? I mean, we always, uh, oh, werewolf's I guess on this tour so far, I mean, Detroit. The big dirty. You know, man, not, not necessarily the best show, but those kids are nuts. Maybe I haven't heard I'm trying to think of what was the best show so far. Montreal was pretty cool. Montreal was pretty cool. Yeah, Canada's always real good. Okay. So, especially on this run. That's good. So, do you think like almost within the industry, we're almost due to see this like resurgence of, of rock? It's hard to say. I I'd, I'd like to think so. I, uh, it's scary sometimes. Yeah, yeah. That, that, <laughs> whenever whenever we say that word, especially it's scary because the industry's changed so much uh -huh. and the music. Uh, I'm sure you guys Music industry is kind of shot mm -hmm. lately, you know, as far as a. Uh, obviously, for the last couple of years, the illegal downloads and whatnot. But beyond that. Um, it's just not as uh, everything's different, you know. Mm -hmm. But uh, there's still demand for for heavy music, and there's still demand for shows. And so we're gonna keep going out there as long as we can. You know, it has been cool. It's like a resurgence of uh, like a different fan base, you know, younger crowd. You know, like bringing out bands that that bring out a lot of the younger crowd. That, that, yeah, it's funny because we've been we've been on the road for about ten years now, eleven years, and yeah, at least touring professionally, and. Um, there's kids and like, oh, it's my first time or second time. We're like, that's awesome. Yeah. So that's cool. You know, that, that's a good, good feeling. Yeah, I think it's like with rock and, and metal music in general, it's more of like a live, mm -hmm. a live market than it is even sure. like just yeah. general album sales. Or yeah, anything. it's the best way to uh, tell yourself and, and the best way to have a good time. I think we're a live band. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, for sure. I mean, albums just don't sell anyway. <laughs> no one cares anymore unless they're downloading them pretty much. So, yeah, it's fun. So, you know, as an artist, what is it like for you when a fan will come up and say, you know, your music's affected me in some way or helped me through a certain situation? It's cool. It's still, um, it's still surreal because I, I, you know, it's almost like being in a movie or seeing that happen. Because, you know, I've had situations where music's helped me out, you know, and that's why I do this. And, um, 
yeah, for someone to say that, I think it's, it's, it's real. It's real touching, and I real sincerely appreciate it. Watch the fans, and they say that, you know, especially about like lyrics. Mark will get a lot, and just music in general as an outlet, and that's what it is for us. I think people are like, you know, we always get asked, you guys are just real nice people. You know, why? You know, you know our music so scary or whatever. You know, they might not know about the, the, the style of music. And I'm like, well, that's kind of why, because that's our that's our outlet. You know, stress relief is playing this. You know, being involved with this style of music that we like. Um, well, I always like to look at music as like a universal language that, sure. that, that everyone could speak and understand. I mean, we all take different messages from it. So, yeah, no doubt. Better. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, um, as a just for fun question, like if your music could be the soundtrack to any movie, what would it be? <laughs> You know, I think our music works well with horror movies, so I'll just say a horror movie. And my favorite, my favorite horror movie in the world is Hellraiser. So if you go back and rewrite a soundtrack to like Hellraiser two, you guys ever do foil? Because because one had its own foil on the other. Literally, Hellraiser two or four, then they pick something. Or if they made a new one that was good. It's not enough like yeah, I don't know about that. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. They're up to like eight now or something like that. So what was the? What was the first album you remember purchasing with your own money? So many Beastie points. Boys License to Hell on cassette, 1987. Where? <laughs> <laughs> I was, I, I, I loved it, and then I didn't get into metal until about uh, maybe 90. Jeez, yeah. So is there a dream artist you guys would love to share a stage with that you haven't? You've definitely shared with we've a lot been, of people. So. We've, we've been lucky enough to share the stage with a uh, you know, a lot of bands Perfect. that we uh, grew up <laughs> just worshiping and, uh, but I guess if we could go back in time and Dime was still around and bands are out, you know because we were lucky enough to do Metallica and um, you know we've done Slayer Slipknot we've done a lot of cool you know tours and then festivals but yeah is there one festival that stands out for yeah, you guys? Yeah, like, no, like um, a really good download. Reputable. In 2007, we played the main stage, and it was between 60 and 70,000, and it was unbelievable. That was, that was real cool. I hope so, you know, back to you know, working on the album and everything with you guys, what should fans be expecting with that? Oh, God, that's the hardest yeah. question ever. <laughs> that's really uh, sorry. I, guess, I guess we'll see. I think we're at the point right now with the writing. I have no idea what you're talking about. Um, where we don't know where it's going yet, you know, and I can tell you it's heavy, it's Chimera, it's fucking, yeah, we, 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 we a little, it's a little more up-tempo for sure than the last record, and uh, it's just brutal, I think, um, I think it's another record where we're not going to worry about anything but having fun and writing a good record, you know, and make the best of it, it's heavy. Over I don't think, I don't think we're going to throw any weird curveballs <laughs> out there. I mean, it, you, you know, know they're always something different than per album, but... <laughs> yeah, that's right. so I just made that album yeah. as I was like growing along. Yeah, plus, like, you're in tune with what the fans, fans are into and stuff. Yeah, for sure. For sure. So, how has, like, the rise of social media been a tool for you guys? I've your mindset the whole time. I just laugh. Yeah, we, we, we I'm not too to well connected other, with anything uh, social, social media <laughs> related over there. Too. Some people are really into it. Like you know, some are into it, some aren't. And we have well, Chris, our keyboardist, he does a website, he does the only thing we can do to laugh. Uh, him and Mark do a lot of updates on Twitter, Facebook, uh, everything like that. And they're always connected, but me, not so much. I've still got my MySpace page. And I know that's kind of defunct, right? Not only like exactly. You know, I still think though that MySpace is like the easiest way to share. Music. Like, so I think it's the coffee, coolest way to share music, yeah. and I think it's so, the coolest way to you know have your own page. Mm -hmm. you know, I, the rich, I originally whatever, made one so I could help promote my guitar. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, that's for sale, uh -huh. and, and that's you know. But if you bring like you know at the time, you know, it was a real tough tool. Who knows nowadays? Yeah, you're golden. No, I just think it's the best way to share stuff like that. Now everybody's moving over to Twitter and Facebook, and like people do not even know what I'm doing every like five minutes. Well, if you have enough, I like, agree. A suitcase. <laughs> this is before, like, so, you know, what are like, some of like, the goals, 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 you know, other than, than the yeah, album for, is, for next year for you guys? Pay $30 um, just a little more touring. Um, and so um, it's more of the, the same, you know, that just <laughs> try and keep, <laughs> keep, keep uh, playing. Yeah, and uh, playing different places that we haven't played before. 
for and stuff like that. Yeah, because the one thing that's I cool. hate, yeah. I don't like So, fishing. let's spend one of your crazy that's all I experiences. Is yeah. anybody yeah. having yeah. anything yeah. to lay off the wall? Too many bread. Anything that sticks out. Bread. <laughs> that's a pretty good French bread. If you're into bread, they have, I love bread. They have the best bread over there. Crazy's fan, I think, in that. Europe was. Uh, they had the best chocolate over there. Came up to Mark. He's like, man, check this out. Me and the tattoo of Mark. Like, not his signature. We've seen those before. Those are crazy enough, but it was there. Of him, and it was a dude, you know, on the head. And what I understand, that was really great. I freaked Mark out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm more like, so, but I was that's the first thing that comes to mind. Like, yeah, they always the say with the signatures, it's like, oh, yeah. if I had named you, you're going to get a tattoo. Like, you know, they signed it neater. Yeah. Yeah. I would have like coffee. That's better job than that. Definitely. I love like that. Well, you know, I definitely want to thank you for taking the time to be with us. Is there any, you know, message or comment you'd like to share with the web and our audience? Love that kind of stuff. Yeah, never tried it. Fly out to Cleveland, come to our Christmas show December 30th. I don't know. Thanks for the support. Good. Thank you. Just kidding me. <laughs> Molesting me.